Hello, welcome, Red Gun Show, special episode or whatever. Actually, this is a special episode. Uh, I, some of you already probably know, I've already done a Star Fox Course One uh, uh, video on this uh, channel exclusively YouTube. But I'm not happy with it. I think I can do a better score. Uh, I have higher standards of quality with everything now. For those of you who have seen, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, I decided to leave something in there that uh, I probably shouldn't have a long run, a little technical issue. But just realized something for the first time today, a couple minutes ago, that right here, uh, after that little intro menu music, different music plays right here. I don't recall ever realizing that, uh, at least. Not, not as an adult, because I don't remember it at all as a child, so there you go. You just, you just learned something. Star Fox, we need your help. Star Fox always needs my help. Totally. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely gonna have that. Eh, this is good. Ah. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna do level one. Yes. Yes, we in fact are. And this time, I'll actually scroll th I'll let you get, let everybody read the actual scroll. So there you go. So <laughs> Our last resort. Star Fox, we need your help. Good luck. She attempted Snake. Can you imagine Snake being in any other franchise other than on uh, Metal Gear Solid? That's a. Uh, it's kind of funny to think about. I had a little conversation with somebody recently. Like, imagine, imagine Snake having Facebook. I'm trying to figure out how to send a friend request and this, that, and the other, and like, oh, God, how do I send a friend request with Joe? Snake, you need to. Joke so, joke so, who cares? Alright, Star Fox. Let's see if I can beat my old score. Let's see if I can get a perfect score on this, and I'm already off to a bad start, it looks like. <laughs> oh, well. It's all about fun. I, I thought about doing a speedrun for you guys today, but instead I decided to do a little casual play. So, um, the reason I thought about doing a speedrun uh, this week, uh, the week that I'm recording, um, there's shit. Yes. Ah. So, okay, awesome games done quick is this week for summer games. So it could be summer games done quick, I guess. You know what? I'm actually gonna do it. I'm going to reset the game because I can't believe I missed that. It's just a. Bear with me. Star Fox, we still need your help. You will you fuck up and reset the game. Whatever, whatever. Alright. <sighs> yeah. Okay, start over. Not a big deal. Let's just start again. That's. <laughs> now that's that speedrun shit right there. You know, uh, missing missing something, <laughs> especially in the beginning of the game that you that you need to have just missing one thing. Oh, let me reset. Nope, gonna have perfect run. Perfect run. Ha ha ha. Like I said, I'm gonna try my best to have a perfect run. That's sixty thousand points. That's ten thousand points per stage for a level. Uh, easy course. That's that's what they consider a level, of course. I've been playing this game since '94, '93. Season that came out. Still can't figure out what the fuck they're saying right there in the little scramble screen. Uh, I have to say, this is still one of my most favorite games of all time. It is probably my favorite game for the Super Nintendo. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and commit to that. I mean, you, might, you might hear me say otherwise in different videos or whatever, different playthroughs. But yeah, this, yeah this, is, this is probably my favorite game for the Super Nintendo. This and Yoshi's Island. Now a little a little known fact about this game other than the all the stuff that's a very wide history right now. Um is that uh, it's it's 
on the clone systems, you know, like such as the Retro Duo or the Retro Trio that plays the Super Nintendo games, any, any modern day system that plays Super Nintendo games, will not play the Japanese version of this game. It's, it's, it's incredible. Now, uh, on, on my clone system, I own the Retro Duo, it plays Japanese games. It's just that, uh, you know, it plays Star Fox as, or the Super Nintendo Park version of Star Fox. Which is very, very unfortunate, because, uh, especially for the speedrunner community, which I'm part of, of such a um, Japanese text is faster. That's, that's, that's the only benefit completely to owning a Japanese or a super famous version of any, any game for the system. Uh, one game that will not play at all on clone systems, especially the system that I have again, the Retro Duo, is uh, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct will not play. Or so, I've never tried it myself, and that, that's, that's the official release on it. Killer Instinct will not play. Which, it, it makes sense to a point, because Killer Instinct was at, um, originally playing as a Nintendo 64 exclusive. And then, you know, this, that, and the other happened. And According to the Super Nintendo before the 64 ever released. So that little known fact right there. I finally got my audio fixed and I am so really so happy about that. And I I've been really trying so hard not to bring that up. That that's a very, very big quality issue. At least with me. Um that's the thing that I look for most when doing my test videos. I'm not really just testing the audio levels. I mean, um, I'm happy with my setup with everything on. So there you go. I'm not gonna bother really going into the specific details of the specs on all the hardware that I use and all the computer and the software. Unless somebody would actually ask, then I'll bother to look into that with further, very specific detail. But, uh, otherwise, it's, it's really like, <laughs> this shit right here. Who gives a shit? Wait, who is that fucking one? I, I, I know you guys know that. You know? I'm gonna ski one of my speed press really hard. Oh my god, the bombs hit me! Why? LOL, why? LOL. Ooh, son. Come, come, come. Come, come. Alright, let's see if I got 2,000 points. Sit around 100%. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, sorry, folks. oh, what a great run, what a great beginning, okay, I, I don't think I should have gone 100% there, uh, I think I did a 98% worth of uh, gameplay there, but I'm happy I got it, so let's see if I can continue on that trend. Asteroid Belt, Star Fox, Andros's forces, blah 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 blah. Good luck. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put forth a challenge to anybody watching, watching uh, this video or really any of my videos. You see something that that I do in my videos, and you think you could do better. You know what? Put your money where your mouth is. Post a video. Whether it's a higher score, a better time, a more reliable way of completing the objective, what have you. If you think you can do better, prove it. Show me. You know what? If, if, if you do prove it, I'll put, in, I'll put you down for an entry into uh, the next Red Gun Show giveaway. Because as you guys know, I do, do giveaways with this channel. So there you go. A little incentive for you guys, you know. All in good uh, sport, of course. All in the name of just having fun. Yeah, getting, uh, destroying that, that centipede thing's new head is considered completion. Well, I believe that, uh, there is something that's going on. Okay, yeah, anyway. Okay, the kill that blue head is, is a percentage in this, in this game. Oh, 
so I believe hitting certain asteroids, certain red asteroids in that small belt right there is also Are you wrong about that? I'm sure there's something out there somewhere saying what's completion and what's not. It's like I knew it was there, right? Yeah. Um, saying what's completion and what's not. I have never been able to find, like, an actual guide. Uh, you know, official or fan-made to, to say what's what with everything. So I, I can only go with what I myself have been able to figure out. My last playthrough of this game, I was talking a little bit about speedrunning it and what that actually entails. Um, most of the time, you now I I will always try to do long plays in my speedruns. That means not using warps or anything like that. Um, that's, just, that's just my style of play. There's nothing wrong with people who do use warps for speedruns. That, that's pretty much what you want to do anyway. But anyway, uh, I, don't, I don't use warps, but I do hold like for this game, I will pretty much spam the hell out of the boost button, which I figured it out, it does actually boost your, uh, your avatar uh, further in the game. It's, you know, there's some fancy math involved that I uh, figured out, but it, yes, it does. It, it's by like, I'm gonna say, between between like 0.8 and 0.95 of a second. So uh, pretty much one second it'll boost you, you know, into the map. It'll, it'll boost the ship into the map. It is actually floating in three-dimensional space, a three-dimensional space for the game. This game is fully programmed in three dimensions. Uh, you know, uh, turbo graphics and ship, whatever, whatever. You, you know, you know, you already know. You already know. And if you don't, there you go. You know. Perfection is what powers is They got a little laser there inside just to do two bombs and one of them. There you go. Rock Crusher. <laughs> Only if Solid Snake or Otacon are in the car. Come on, guys. Crush the penis for 100%. Come on. I know I can do it. I know I can do 100% in this game. I have a good feeling. I'm on top of my game today, it seems. Had a little, little fruit paw. Oh, yes! Man, I normally get, like, in my casual plays, I'll, I'll normally get 100% on, more often than not, on the first stage, the third, and the fourth. And then it ranges on the second. For some reason, sometimes on on Venom, sometimes I'll get 100, sometimes I'll get 80, like on each stage. I don't get it. I, whatever. This one, this stage in the first stage, uh, Quinaria, are probably the stages that I'm m most familiar with. What I have to do to get 100. percent There we go. Good luck. 